నమస్తే ఇట్ ట్రిబ్యూట్ టు మనోజ్ దా మనోజ్ దాస్ ప్రొఫెసర్ మనోజ్ దాస్ ఇస్ ఈస్ నోన్ పద్మభూషణ్ యాక్చువల్లీ వీ ఆల్ హ్యావ్ బీన్ స్పీకింగ్ అబౌట్ హిస్ గ్రేట్ అచీవ్మెంట్స్ అండ్ నో డౌట్ దే ఆర్ ఇఫ్ యూ రియలీ లుక్ ఎట్ ద లిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ అచీవ్మెంట్ ఇట్స్ సంథింగ్ వెరీ ఎగ్జాంప్లరీ అండ్ ఇఫ్ యూ సీ దాట్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో డౌట్ దట్ హీ వాజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది విభూతిస్ who did a lot of work for mother and shri bindo um, in india abroad but at different levels what was unique about him was that he could simultaneously speak to the most erudite uh, erudite philosopher and he could also speak to children uh, i think many of us have read chanda mama stories they used to be my favorite and but very few people know that uh, stories used to come he was one of the editors as well as the um, story writer of uh, many of the stories that used to appear and um, my own liking for him grew up because of his story telling once mother remarked uh, in one of her conversations that indians are great storytellers and when i read that remark i just somehow the image of manoj das flashed in my mind so about his greatness that a lot of people have spoken about it and uh, um, about his achievement the list of things but that's not what i want to speak about because greatness is a gift of the divine as uh, one place uh, shorbindo beautifully writes nolni da also when he starts giving a tribute to shorbindo and shorbindo is as you know far beyond anything we can imagine he says the greatness of the great is the greatness of the divine in him so all greatness belongs to the divine so that's something which uh, why the divine picks and chooses certain instrument uh, probably the instruments themselves don't know i was reading one of the interviews of manoj das and he was asked he said i don't know you know he gave it like probably a context of uh, time circumstances and everything um, made me what i am but uh, if you ask me in one word it is of course a grace of the divine mother which picked him up for one of the most beautiful works that could be done through a human being once i also remember reading one of his interviews which had touched me very deeply when he was asked that why did he uh, choose shorbindo and come to him you know this is how people think that you have chosen uh, a master and chosen to come here so manoj das after a brief uh, quiet moment of silence uh, suddenly came out he said uh, it is just the grace of the divine mother which is something tremendous so my first encounter with manoj das i don't remember when but i do remember uh, what struck me i think it was in the context of some common platforms that we shared in various places in india and abroad and uh, when i came to know that manoj das is also speaking it was like oh it'd be wonderful because i'll get a chance to meet him and uh, i assumed that you know a great storyteller that such a person is such an erudite scholar whatever i had read about him or known about him uh, i was expecting a person with lot of you know uh, fanfare and <laughs> lot of uh, out um, not show but something which would uh, many people who when they become famous they tend to develop a kind of uh, superior attitude even in their humility there is a certain kind of superiority as if they are one above but what struck me instantly about manoj das was his humility that was the first word that came to my mind he could easily meet and uh, you know make you feel that he is just like you it was something like a tremendous quality which i noted about him and once when i um, had an occasion when there was a lady who had a bit of uh, psychological problem and who had gone into all kinds of vanity illusions that she is someone very special etc so he she was known to manoj das and so i was just discussing with him about the options so i was sharing this that you know the mind gets caught in such a vanity uh, we were discussing he asked like you know what do you feel is the cause i said mother has said vanity can lead to all these things then he smiled and remarked yes and very often i have seen vanity in people who really don't have anything to be vain about it was a tremendous observation and since then i have observed that people of real real achievement 
they are humble by nature and the reason is because somewhere they know that it's not theirs it is something higher something greater which has used them for the work and they are happy about it they are grateful about it but they know it's not they so that is that is the kind of recognition that manoj das had about his um you know his achievements about his greatness about what was done through him this was the first thing that i noticed second thing which i saw that you know there are the world is full of intelligent people and people who have achieved a lot in terms of their uh, you know outer things and uh, degrees and all the kinds of honors that are bestowed on them and i for one am not really uh, often impressed by Uh, outer achievements in fact i generally uh, look as cans when people you know have um, uh, rewards from political establishment this my personal this thing but with manoj das it was different uh, what was beautiful about his intelligence was that it was in uh, you know there was an innate touch of his spiritual intelligence inside him it was just he was inborn with it gifted so if you read his stories there is such a beautiful mystic bent touch and some of his stories i myself used and many other persons have used i think the other day the story i was using about the man whose tooth had fallen and therefore he had turned vegetarian is one of the stories which i had read from his uh, book tales told by the mystics but um, many of these stories of course he had gathered over a period of time but it is so wonderful the way he presented these stories it was amazing so there was an innate touch of spiritual intelligence and in my course of journey with him several times either traveling together or sharing a platform together subsequently uh, i noticed that there is within him a very sensitive heart you see it's very interesting his, his journey Uh, he had shared that how he was a marxist he went you know went underground now he was he came from a very good family and yet you know he felt for the deprived and the poor then i realized there are i, I mean i myself had that kind of leaning at a very young age that there are people who are very sensitive about the inequality in the world about injustice in the world and they want to find a solution and but looking at all this they wonder whether god exists or doesn't exist and he told me something very interesting that when he turned from marxism to sherbindo um Uh, one of the uh, somebody's one of his uh, those who knew him the left oriented we know the left uh, oriented people how anything religious or spiritual they they write all kinds of things so the person had written a very nice nasty kind of article on sherbindo i mean it's not about sherbindo they are like that so you know anything like vivekananda they have to bring him down because uh, they sublimate filth and bring down greatness at one place shrivinda even cautions this tendency to bring down great great greatness is a very dangerous thing because really if we finish off greatness then there is very little left in the world to hope for and you know find beautiful about it so he was sharing me this story that uh, when he read the article he had to go and um, somebody asked him what is your view about it and it was he was still like people thought that he has one leg here but he had put <laughs> both his legs on uh, the you know madran shirvindo's path so he said my frank opinion is that i felt that a um, jungly sewer you know wild boar he was uh, dashing against a huge mountain so it was such a wonderful <laughs> simile <laughs> he had this penchant for similes and through images he would convey a truth so instead of saying much in few words he said that nothing will happen to the mountain but the wild boar or the pig will end up you know uh, smashing his forehead another one simile which i remember very beautiful a story which i have shared uh, this shows how his innate intelligence worked this ability to pick up from things the most common place uh, instances uh, a deep profound spiritual truth it's a rare gift so um, uh, he was saying that you know once one of the occasions i have quoted this story but i have not said that you know manoj da had told me this story of his own life incidents so let me now share it uh, as a tribute to him that he said in one of the meetings where he was present and Uh, people were talking about you know supramental transformation and can it be cannot be all kinds of doubts and uh, debates and discussions were going on then he said when uh, all this was over 
and this man who had to close the gates and he had another beautiful quality about him was that he could just lean down to anyone and just speak to him as if his own that's something tremendous so it was not like watchman or oh, i am a great author nothing like that he could just put a hand around his shoulder and talk to him and uh, make him feel that he is just one of us you know really connected to the soil Uh, very few people can be connected to the soil as well as to the skies climb towards skies that was a unique quality about him so he asked the man ki you have been you know listening to all this <laughs> what did you understand the exact details i may forget but he he said the gatekeeper told me that sir uh, babu ji why they were having all this discussion about this uh, so he said why what did you understand he said every day i cycle from my house to this place because i am supposed to open and close and every day i see lotus blooming in a, in in mud uh, i see it every day so what is so strange about you know something beautiful coming out of man now this was something amazing <laughs> this kind of intuitive intelligence you look at it on one side i am not sure whether this actually happened to manoj da that was his way of communicating that he made a story out of it like chotan narayan ji had this penchant of making a story but the point was conveyed so powerfully that look you know we debate and discuss but in every day event of nature you can find a profound truth so that was something another very beautiful thing about him um, with all the accolades and all the fanfare and uh, extraordinary no i mean by all means um his humility his sense of understanding and respecting in another person that which was beautiful i remember when i came to ashram and i had just joined the nursing home so people didn't know that i have already met manoj tha and know him very well <laughs> so there was somebody i won't name and another person who was with him so this person <laughs> introduce manoj da that you know he is so and so sahit academy winner that time he was all these things uh, and uh, i was just looking and smiling then there was another person who knew me so he started introducing me he is wing commander so and so <laughs> then we both got up held each other's hands and said we know each other very well and then he started you know talking about him that <laughs> such a beautiful simplicity apart from humility simplicity i mean hats off to his simplicity with a kind of wealth with the kind of accolades with the kind of name he could be so simple and share incidents of his life uh, obviously i can't uh, you know speak of them but with such an utter simplicity and i've seen him that with all this uh, that side of him as a as a husband so when um, pratigya di was admitted in nursing home he would come every day and every day even if for a short while and every day he would see her and she was not in her senses to recognize or you know remember or realize and he used to be anxious about you know what's happening to her what can be done uh, he would discuss it and see what best options could be done when many of us sometimes felt that you know in this state uh, is it really worthwhile to prolong life but he would really put all his things on uh, hopes and wishes on the side of a recovery so it reminded me and i shared with him that you know you remind me of a story so he said which one i said i had you know read this beautiful story about a man who was uh, in a state of dementia uh, whose wife was in a state of dementia she couldn't recognize anybody and her husband would come every day sit by her side even talk to her hold her hand and go away so he was also quite old and the sister once asked him that uh, why do you have to come every day you know she doesn't really recognize you and the man came out with a wonderful reply he said but i recognize her so it's not like you know she doesn't recognize me anymore so you know i can just leave her like that so i shared this story with him and then of course he smiled and he came out with some very interesting stories about pratigya di uh, about her some you know inner life and things like that so it was um, i think he carried a lot of old world charm but with a beautiful blend of uh, maybe it was uh, this which turned him towards a kind of marxist ideal communist ideal that all are one equal 
so he could uh, just go to anybody's place and make the person feel so comfortable in his company i had the occasion of even staying with him um, going out with him in america in some of the talks and it was so wonderful his utter simplicity and humility and this innate intuitive spiritual intelligence uh, last um, um, i could share one of the anecdotes there are plenty of them and uh, i'm sure it doesn't need anybody to really pay a tribute to him because uh, people like him are too well known you know it's like uh, paying a tribute to the moon or uh, a great source effulgent source of light um, mm-hmm. so i you know he was in nursing home so he was diagnosed as uh, having a disease which could not be treated further i mean doctors did try their utmost so during that time i met him and just held his hand so he was very happy very happy whenever he would meet and i just held his hand for some time just quietude with the mother and then i just told him that um, you know manusta you have served her so well and beautifully she just now she just wants you to rest in her lap because i i was noticing the naturally you know because he is a great man so everybody all purely medical paradigms people were not able to see that i mean there is a spiritual side to a human being and sometime when we are driven too much with the concerns of the body we may forget the needs of the soul and that's what i felt was happening because always surrounded by that kind of atmosphere medical medical so when i told him he said ha ah, yesterday night onwards this is what i have been thinking why what is the lesson in all this so he said now i understand this is it i said yes manusta just be with her this is the time when you know all this uh, medical things all achievements uh, everything is wonderful but now mother wants you to be just as much time as possible to be with her because you have led a very active life at her service he said yes i think that is what i have missed out and now i should concentrate only on that i said yes held his hand for some time few months before all this has happened he was already diagnosed and then in deep quietude i came back but i am sure that uh, he is very happy and comfortable in his la- in her lap uh, i remember few days back the day he had left his body afternoon around 4 o'clock i just felt so much of his presence i didn't go for the funeral but felt he is just all around so it was so beautiful to you know feel that with his usual smiling countenance and i'm sure he has gone straight to her i mean people like him who have served the mother so selflessly so beautifully um, not only son of um, the soil odisha um, india abroad but also son of the sky so very few people can combine the two uh, being son of the soil and son of the sky and be a bridge between the two and surely manoj das was one of them so we all obviously feel grateful when such a personality has come on earth of course it's the greatness of the divine mother but yet at the same time the instrument has opened and done this kind of service so i'm sure he will be wonderfully happy in her and come back to serve her again <laughs> bon voyage and early return manusta um, people like you are needed more and more and always thank you